vítám všechny příznivce hry Kingdom Come Deliverance. Vidíte, že jsem ve vesnici, která je vypálená a je to tady opravdu hodně bošklivý. A já mám za úkol tady vyslechnout zajatce a zjistit, co se stalo s Matějem, že tady obejdu ty chalupy. Ten se se mnou teda nebaví. Hm, ten ne. Tady byla morová epidemie a je to tady moc špatný. Respects to you. I need to talk to that captive. Sorry, no one's allowed inside. Melikar's orders. But I'm Sir Radzig Kobler's envoy, and I urgently need to question the captive. I don't care if you're the Pope's envoy. I can't let you in. If you want to talk to the captive, you have to get permission from Melikar. Good luck to you. I could do with a bite to eat. <clears throat> Takže se najíme. Je čeho, co ještě se dá jíst. Tyhle jabko ještě jdou. Jsou takový napůl schnilý. Musím najít Melichara. Bohužel už si nepamatuju, v kterém je baráku. No, oni se se mnou nebudou bavit, dokud toho Melichara nenajdu. No, takže... Tady oběhnu. Tady v tom statku, není v tom koňském. A takže další stavení. Tady někdo šel. To je pořád ten, co se tady promenuje, ne? A není to Melichar. No jasně, to je ten ponocný. Počkej, ještě se na tebe podívám. What's happened here? Things are bad, very bad. First we get attacked by them brigands, barely come out of that alive. And now the plague. Plague, you say? Indeed so. Something's up with the village. Even the livestock are dying. It's a gruesome sight. I heard the bandits didn't get very far here, though. Luckily, young Straw saw them still over by the cross and woke the whole village. We even captured one. He's tied up now at Melikar's place. But then, 
the disease came. Who attacked you? I don't know. Some bandits. Ever since Skullitz was raised, they've been marauding the whole province. Did you put up a fight? We most certainly did. Once Melikar heard young Straw shouting to the hills, he handed everyone a pitchfork or a flail, and we ambushed the bastards. Good on you. How did it turn out? We gave them what for until they turned tail and ran. But they cut up young Straw, something awful. He didn't live to see morning. Who are Melikar and Straw? That's right, you're not from around here, are you? Melikar's the one looking after things round here now. Before that, it was down to Smil, from the Neuhof stud. But they killed him that time they raided the place. And young Straw is the son of Andrew, a local woodcutter. Or was, I should say. The bandits saw to that. His old man isn't taking it well. Where will I find Melikar? If you stand at the main gate of the stables and look across the road, Melikar's is the house on the left. I'd like to talk to Straw. I see. Well, if you stand at the main gate of the stables and look across the road, you'll see Straw's house on the right. Tell me more about this plague. It sounds terrible. Worse than you can imagine. The whole stud. Livestock, sheep, chickens, all dead or dying. No doubt the people will be next. Melikar's old woman's taken to her bed, and it doesn't look good. Straw's wife and brother. More and more. I'm sorry to hear it. I'm looking for Matthias. He works as a stable hand at the stud farm. Matthias? The brigands got him. Poor lad. He's lying wounded at the stud. Thanks. That'll be all for now. God be with you. Takže, po nocní vám toho řekne nejvíc. Je potřeba ho chytit, zastavit a vyslechnout. Takže, se vracím na tu hlavní cestu. A nejdřív teda do, do Hřebčína najít toho Matěje, no. Tam někde bude schovaný. Tady je. Hal? You're a sight for sore eyes. What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, Matthias. Sir Radzig sent me here to investigate the raid. Sir Radzig? Looks like you've come up in the world, mate. You're here as his envoy? Yeah, something like that. But that's not important right now. Well, I'm glad to see you have a job. Lots of our old neighbors have been reduced to begging. If I were in your shoes, I'd get the hell out of here. There's some disease spreading. Disease? Folk is saying it's the plague. Whatever it is, it's bad. It started the day after the raid. First the horses got sick, then other animals, and now people are falling ill too. Oh, damn! Are you alright? Well, at least I haven't caught the sickness. But you've been hurt. It happened during the raid. One of those damn bandits fell on me, horse and all. My arm's badly broken, but better than a broken neck. Tell me about the raid. What do you want to know? I hear one of the raiders was taken captive. I'd like to question him. Why, old Melikar let him have it over the head with a flail, and now he's locked up in the barn. But be careful. Why's that? That fucker killed young Straw, and his old man's sharpening his sickle for him. Melikar still hasn't decided what to do with him. I can tell you what he'll do with him. He'll hand him over to Sir Radzig's envoy. Me. I doubt Malachar will let him go willingly. The folk here are baying for blood. Lives have been lost. First the raid and now this plague. God knows what they'll do. I hear one of the raiders was taken captive. I'd like to question him. Why, old Malachar, let him have it over the head with... Why's that? 
That fucker. I understand Old Straw wants revenge, but first I have to question that bandit. What happens after is no skin off my nose. Good luck then. Can you describe the raiders? I don't know. They came at dusk, so you couldn't see their faces. About 20 of them. They weren't humans, though. They spoke Czech. You talked to them? No, no. They were shouting at us. They were very sure of themselves to begin with, but when we hit them in the woods, they didn't look so brave. I know you've got courage enough for any man, but how did a bunch of untrained villagers manage to hold off armed bandits? One of the village lads caught sight of them coming through the woods and told Melikar, who roused the whole village, and everyone grabbed what they could. Pitchforks, axes, flails, and we went out to face them. What? You mounted an assault against them? Aye, and that was the key. It was the last thing those whore sons expected. A few of them still managed to break through to the village, probably wanted to torch it. But even the women here were armed with what they could find, and they took the bastards by surprise. About this sickness. When did this plague start? The day after the raid. The horses were lying down in the stable, so we knew something was up. By afternoon, they were all dead. Then other animals started getting sick, one after the other, and then people. What are the signs that someone's getting sick? I don't leave the house much, but folk complain of fever and shakes. Some are throwing their guts up, and others are spewing from the other end. Has anyone died from it? Aye. Old Verba. Although he was already on his last leg, so no one knows for sure if it was the plague that got him. Either way, the animals are dropping like flies, and people will end up the same for sure. Who's ill now? I don't know. What with my arm the way it is, I don't go outdoors much. But I know Melikar and Straw have sick ones at home. Can I ask you a bit about Merkel yet? I haven't been here long enough to learn much, but ask away. Where does Melikar live? When you take the main gate out of the stables, you'll see two cottages outside. Melikar lives in the left-hand one. Takže to je výslech a máme dvě chalupy, takže máme vlevo Melichara a vpravo Slámu, tak snad to nepomotám. Takže to je, doufám, hlavní brána, vlevo Melichar, vpravo Sláma, no tak jo, tak snad. Are you Melikar? Aye, that's me. I need to speak with the prisoner. And why is that? Who might you be? Henry, envoy of Saradze Kobola. I'm here to investigate the attack. I'm sorry. I have other things on my mind right now. In case you hadn't noticed, we have pestilence raging here. And Saradze won't help us with that any more than he helped us when we were attacked. No news has reached Ratai of any disease here. But I'm here now, and I can help you. Hmm. Well, since you serve Sir Adzig, you might be of some use. If anyone can be. Tell me what to do. There's a stable hand living with us here, Matthias. Yes, I know him. And he knows some girl who helps out in the monastery infirmary. Your hanker, I think her name is. She might know someone to turn to, if she's actually there. Very well. I'll go to the monastery. It's probably our best hope. Thank you. At least for taking the trouble. But then, even if you cared nothing for us, the prisoner's got the pestilence too. He'll die without help. If I have to go to the monastery, I need to know as much as possible about the disease. I'll definitely need to know its symptoms. They're bound to ask me that. It's hard to say. My wife is feverish. Others have the chills. I heard some are throwing up. Others still are breaking out in sores. But why don't you see for yourself? People talk a lot and I don't know what to believe anymore. Very well. I'll make the rounds. 
I've daubed lime on the afflicted houses, but don't stay too long in those homes. <laughs> that I can promise you. Good luck to you. Ženy mi nic neřeknou a já se půjdu teda poptat po vesnici, ale to bude až v dalším dílu. Takže děkuji za sledování a přeji pěknou dobrou noc.